Emily, the intake coordinator again. Now, I'd like to show you how easy it is to add information to master files. Master files are lists of reoccurring information that is entered for every patient. Things like referral sources, facilities, attending physicians, and funeral homes. Keeping this information in master files makes it super simple to enter the information in a patient's file and is a huge help in accurate data collecting and reporting. Let's go into a chart to illustrate. We'll pull up our patient, Derek Jeter. We were working on his intake previously. At the time, we didn't have all of Derek's information. Now, more information has come in about this referral. So we'll click Edit and we can make adjustments. If we scroll down to Physicians and click on the field, a list of valid physicians that are already in the system pops up. However, Derek's attending physician is a new doctor that we'll be working with by the name of Dr. Mark Hall. However, Mark is not on the list. We'll want to add Mark to the list. Similarly, scrolling over to the contact information, we're also going to add Derek to a new facility. When we click on facility, a list of valid facilities pops up. But the facility that Derek will be living in, Shady Pines Nursing Home, is not on our list. Let's jump over to the master files and make those additions. First, we'll add a new physician. We begin by typing the name of the physician and the physician's information, such as NPI number, contact information, office phone number, fax number, the physician's address. We save the information and we're done. Going back to the physician's master list, we can see that Dr. Mark Hall is now in our master list. Let's also add a facility to our master list. In the facilities master list, we begin by clicking new facility. We type in the name of the new facility, which is Shady Pines Nursing and Rehab Center. We add the NPI number. Now you'll notice over here there is a field for daily rate. This daily rate field integrates with Hospice Tools e-billing. This integration allows us to create accounts receivable for pass-through room and board for those patients who are on Medicaid. You'll also notice the different facility types that are listed. These facility types all correspond to different facilities in the Medicare Q code list and are integrated with Hospice Tools e-billing to feed directly onto your Medicare claims. Shady Pines Nursing and Rehab is a skilled nursing facility, so we'll select that. We can put in their contact information and we click Update. Now let's also add the facility's address. You'll notice that it asks for the county. This is because our integration with e-billing will automatically determine the value code and the rate at which we'll be billing for Derek or any other patient living at Shady Pines Nursing and Rehab. We save that information and that's how we add information to the master file. And that's how Hospice Tools eDocs makes entering reoccurring information super simple. You should know that master lists are totally protected by role-based access, so you can decide who in your agency can update these lists. Now that our master lists are updated, let's go ahead and complete our face sheet for Derek. We'll go back to our patient screen and we'll go ahead and complete the intake information for Derek. We begin by selecting Derek's chart. We can select a patient directly from the list or we can search by first name or last name. We'll click edit and put Derek's face sheet into edit mode. We had completed the basic demographic information for Derek, such as his first name, last name, date of birth, etc. And now we can go ahead and complete the rest of the information. We now know that Derek will be coming onto hospice at routine home care. We will select his attending physician, Dr. Mark Hall. He doesn't have a funeral home yet, so we won't complete that yet, but that can be entered at a later date during his stay on hospice. Also, we have a list of disaster codes, which help us in case of an emergency as part of our preparedness plan. When we scroll over this little information button, it provides a list of what each of those disaster quotes corresponds to. Since Derek will be residing in a nursing facility, we'll put him as a disaster code 4. We also have a full database of valid ICD-10 codes. The database can be searched by code or description. Derek is an end-stage Alzheimer's patient as his primary code, so we'll go ahead and select that. And especially helpful for billing purposes, you can add secondary codes as well. Now we can scroll over to the admissions information. 
We'll change Derek's status to admitted. Derek was admitted on August 1st, 2018. As you can see, when a patient is admitted, it automatically grays out non-applicable fields, such as the discharge date, expired, discharge to, and reason for discharge. Those will be available in edit mode when Derek comes off of hospice at a later date. Going to his cert period information, we can select from the three valid types of cert periods, first 90 days, second 90 days, and 60 days, depending on our patient's previous hospice experiences. Since Derek has not been enrolled in hospice before, we'll select first 90 days. Because it's a direct initial admit, Derek's cert begin date will be the same as his admission day, is August 1st. Then we can move down to our referral information, which contains some very useful business development information. We have referral type. In this case, it's a hospice referral. Clicking on referral source pulls up from a master list of referral sources. This also allows us to run reports on trends and statistics regarding referrals from different accounts. In this case, it was Memory Care Center who made the referral, and it was called in by Monica at Memory Care. And then we can correlate that referral with a particular community rep or liaison or salesperson. In this case, the representative who handles the Memory Care Center account is Angela. Now we've completed our face sheet for Derek. Click Update, and we're good. That takes care of managing master files of reoccurring details and finalizing patient intake. With Hospice Tools eDocs, patient intake is super simple. Hospice Tools, how hospice happens.